Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending December the 24th, 2021. Merry Christmas. Hope everybody's having a great holiday season. All the best from Jared and myself and all the rest of the Asset Guidance Group family and team. So the markets this week uh, started off with a lot of volatility. There was a lot of uncertainty over the weekend, yet about a new Omicron uh, information. Uh, that uh, is becoming a worn, uh, tired story, but, uh, and then there was some political upheaval about uh, the uh, administration's inability or the Congress's or Senate's refusal to adopt the infra or piece of big pieces of federal infrastructure spending bills called the Build Back Better, and so that was uh, a, a jolt to some of the markets there, along with increased rates and and general uncertainty, and so the market uh, has had a lot of volatility. What I've seen going on uh, it to, uh, in particular is that the S&P I see in a, in a wedge pattern forming, and the other indexes uh, being NASDAQ, small and mid caps, uh, the Russell 1000, Russell 3000, we see consolidation going on across the board, so no real good defined trades right now. Uh, unclear what uh, next week's trade will be, but uh, for the same, uh, by the same token, uh, um, there is no, we, we, we are waiting for some trend to say. That being said, everything is on a bullish side uh, almost uh, uh, across mo the most of the majors, at least the S&P 500, the Russell 1000, the NASDAQ. Those are where we would like to see them in terms of of just taking a breather and getting ready for earnings in 2022 and in and, and January uh, for Q4 21 and moving on up. But uh, uh, we don't see any clear trends established. The trends that are established are weak down trends right now. Really, I would call it more as a sideways move and waiting, consolidating. Although there's a lot of volatility comparatively historically, I mean, so you're getting one to two uh, percent or more per day. Uh, up or down, uh, and so that's um, that's making it difficult to uh, really make a, a call on there. Brings us to the point again that I've been speaking about for the last couple of weeks is uh, looking for alternatives for some components of your portfolio. So uh, we've been speaking uh, of uh, bond alternatives. This is al also is a bond alternative discussion I have with you right now, again, but a little bit removed from the fixed index side. We've been talking about fixed indexes for the last couple of weeks and how we can take and mitigate risk and yet still get reasonable rates of return, three, four, five, six percent uh, over time without any risk of downside moves. So that's a big piece right there in terms of principal protection uh, or, or inflation protected growing income as time goes by. But also we have in our offerings um, structured notes, okay? And so structured investments are along the lines of replacing CDs, uh, replacing uh, uh, or looking for higher performing uh, risk uh, assets that might otherwise be in fixed income if if we if we have some uh, income that we're trying to replace but we're not relying on it. if we're just looking for yield these sometimes fit into those sectors of your portfolio also uh, fit into the equity side of the portfolio quite nicely as a little bit of something that's alternative to just straight uh, investing straight up in, in equities or preferreds, okay, if we're looking for total yield. And so the thing about these is they're structured so they're, we can provide some downside protection. We can set certain levels of downside protection. There's always a trade-off. There's no free lunch in, in financial investing. Uh, if we, if the, the more protection, then the, the less, you know, the more of a cap we get on the upside and, and vice versa. So. These can really be tailor fitted to everybody's portfolio to make it fit like what you really uh, are going to be comfortable with in terms of overall uh, term of investment and overall yield as well as buffered uh, downside protection. So those are all components that work into this. This is a good introduction for it since it's Christmas Day. That's all I'm going to say about it right now, except that you should call us if you're interested in exploring these further to see how they can fit into your portfolio. Creates stability. A lot of these, the terms on these 
Uh, some of them are callable at any time. So in a bull market, we've seen 90-day rollovers on these, okay? Uh, when it's very strong rallies, but uh, in generally speaking, uh, the terms you'd be looking for would be, you know, anywhere from three to two years or a couple of years going down the road uh, and and making adjustments as we go, as well as the coupon rates and the terms. These are all all uh, items or components that can be tailor fitted to everybody's portfolio. So now that I've whetted your appetite. Have a wonderful Christmas dinner, and I hope the best of the weekend for everybody. Stay happy, stay safe. We'll see you next week and put an end to this 2021 year. Looking forward to 2022. From all of us, Jared, myself, everyone at the Asset Guidance Group team and family, all the best of the season to you and yours. Look forward to speaking with you again soon next week.